Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain you how you can deploy a static web application or website using virtual machine with the help of Microsoft Azure platform. So the first step is you have to create a resource group and you have to give the name of the resource group as per your choice. The second step is you have to create a virtual machine and you have to give the name of the resource group as well as your virtual machine name. You have to select the region and you have to select the operating system as well as the size of the disk in the second step. In the third step, you have to go with the network setting option and attach an inbound port that is HTTP port number 80 to your virtual machine. And in the last step, you have to write down the commands using CloudShare. So these are the commands that you have to follow in your cloud shell. So now we will demonstrate you how you can deploy a static web application using your Azure platform. So our first step is we have to create, first of all, a resource group. So go to create resource and here you can search for a resource group. Click on that resource group option. Go to create option and go with the create resource group. So I'm writing here the name of the resource group is equal to VM RES group demo 1. Now you have to select the region and I'm selecting here the region that is West US. And click on the review and create option. So validation will be passed and you can click on that create option and your resource group will be created with the name that is VM resource group demo one. Now go to resource group option. And now the, our second step is we have to create a virtual machine. So I'm clicking here, click on that virtual machine option in the search box. I'm typing virtual machine. Click on that virtual machine option. Here there is a create button and there are three options are there. Out of that three option, we have to click here on the Azure virtual machine. So now in that resource group, you have to choose the name of the resource group that you have created in the step number one. So I'm clicking on that. VM resource group demo one option. Now here you have to give name of the virtual machine. So you can give the name of the virtual machine that is demo virtual machine one. Then you can keep this waste US region as it is. Now in that availability option, no infrastructure redundancy required. Security type, you can keep as it is, that is trusted launch virtual machine. In the image option, you have to click on that Ubuntu server that is freely available. So for the Ubuntu server 24.04 LTS, that is X64 generation 2, that is the free service eligible for this Ubuntu server. So I'm clicking on that option. And now you have to go with that size option. So in that size, you have to click on that see all size. And here you have to take the size of the OS that is freely available. So for the B1S that is freely available. So I'm clicking on that option that is select. So now after clicking on that size option, we have to select the authentication. Type. So here the authentication type, there are two options, SSH public key and the second one is password. So we have to go with the password option and here we have to give the name of the server. So I'm putting here TN server and my password is, I'm entering my password and you have to keep remember, you will require this username and password whenever you are going with the option cloud shape. So you can keep this remember 
our username as well as password that we are giving. So now there is we have, we have to select the inbound port and in that inbound port you have to give your HTTP 80 and port number SSH 22. Now in that X option you have to select the standard HTTP option. Now rest of the options are as it is that you don't have to change and you have to click on that review and create option. So our deployment is in process. So before that it will check either it is validated or not and now we will get the message that is validation pass. So create on that. So after clicking the create button, it will actually start with our initialize deployment. So now our all resources will be loaded here and it will be goes with the deployment is in progress state. Once your virtual machine will be deployed successfully, it will show the message, the all resources will be created. So now our resource group is created and as well as our virtual machine is also created. Now I have to go with the go to resource option. And it will display your public IP address. As well as whatever the option that you have selected that is display in this browser. So we can copy paste this public IP address and paste here this public IP address here. So it will start loading the page. But it will not loaded here because here you have not posted the website right now. So now what you have to do, you have to host your website into your port number 80 that is HTTP. So you have to go with the network setting option. And you have to set the inbound rule that is go to create port rule option and go to inbound port rule option. And here you have to give the destination port number is equal to 80 and write down the name of the service is allow underscore HTTP and click on the add button. So what you have done the changes here, you have to give the destination port number that is 80 and the name of the port that is allow HTTP. So now you have done with the settings and after doing the setting, it will display here the allow HTTP and the port number 80 that we have selected. Now you have to open the cloud shell on your Azure platform. So here, whenever you are clicking on that option that is cloud shell, your cloud shell will be open here.
And here you have to type that is the command that is SSH. Then your username and your username that you have set whenever you have created your virtual machine that you have to give one. And then at the rate your public IP address. So my public IP address I have already copy pasted here. So what I have given that is TN server at the rate 40.112.253.193. And I am clicking on the enter button. So after clicking the enter button, it will be asking for, do you want to continue? I am typing here yes. And now they are asking for the password. So we have to give the password here that you have set while creating your virtual machine. So now it is connected to our virtual machine with our username. So it will display here the name of the user at the rate your name of the virtual machine. Now you have to update all the services. So I am writing here sudo apt update. So it will update all the drivers, all the required files, which is required for our Ubuntu server. So now we have done with our steps. Now the next one, we have to check the status of our Apache 2. As well as we have to install our Apache server. So for installing the Apache server, I'm writing here sudo apt dash gate install apache 2 So now your Apache server will be installed successfully and you have to check the status of your Apache server that is installed or not. So you have to type here sudo systemctl status Apache 2. So it will display as started the Apache 2 service and whenever you are clicking on that browser and you are Refreshing this web page. And your IP address will be refreshed here. And it will be loaded as a Apache 2 server that is a default page. And it works like in the browser. So now what you have to do? You have to attach one website or one web application. So how you can attach one, one web application? The first of all, you have to change the directory. So I'm right, typing here cd slash var slash www. So this is the path that will be set in the Ubuntu operating system. So whatever the HTML file you have to load, you have to upload it into your var slash www folder. So I have redirect to the location that is var slash www. Now, you have to remove all the directories that are related to the HTML file. So that's why you have to type here sudo rm that then dash rf and HTML. When you are clicking here, writing here ls command that is list of directories, it will not show any HTML file which is included in your slash var slash www folder because you have removed all the files that are related to the HTML file. Now you have to go with the one GitHub web page that is already created. So I'm putting here 
one of the website that is already hosted in our github account so go to the code option you can copy this url and go to our cloud shell and type here sudo git clone and path for your website so now your web page will be clone here and it will display the message that is done so after cloning the web page you have to move all your resources regarding to the html file into our respective folder so whenever you have clone this particular data this folder will be created here that is h double a web app 2 so i'm copying this folder and i have to write the command sudo mv that is move directory sudo mv then my path of the folder and i require the html file so i'm typing here slash html and click on enter button so now our web page will be deployed successfully into our location and into our virtual machine so here tn server at the rate demo virtual machine one so demo virtual machine one is our virtual machine and inside that into our public ip address that is 40.112.253.193 so on that particular website your web page will be uploaded here that is already hosted in our github account so when you are refreshing here it will display the web page so previously it will display the ubuntu default page so after entering all these commands this web page will be displaying here so now we have successfully deployed one website or any one in one of the application web application into our virtual machine using azure platform